Time to get started today. There's a number of things I need to do out on the farm. We've had a nice couple of days where the temperatures have been relatively nice in the 60s and it's been dry, but rain is back again. And we have more rain coming later today. And there's a number of things I need to do out on the farm, so I need to get busy. Uh, and here's a fun fact for you for those of you who don't know, we actually have more yearly average rainfall than Seattle. I never would have thought that before, but we actually do. Our rains come heavier and Seattle is more spread out and they have more cloudy days and it's just more of a mist, ongoing mist. Uh, we actually, when it pours and it rains, it, it really rains here. So uh, there's a tip for you, for those of you who didn't know that. Well, we were gone yesterday with visiting some family. So we didn't gather the eggs, so that is the first thing I need to do, is gather some eggs. So this is just the mess. Things are just yucky. Looks like I'm gonna be adding some more mulch on top of the mulch and the mud. Uh, here's some mulch we had before. But as you can see, it's getting wet. And not too much longer, it's gonna be muddy and yucky too. So I'm gonna try to, try to stay a little bit ahead of this. Um, it's just tough dealing with so much mud, so much rain, and uh, the little micro flooding that we've had. Um, there's area where, areas where we have mud and it is just yucky to walk through. I don't want to put mulch there because those are areas where I am trying to keep grass. I do want grass in certain areas, like this area right here. It is really muddy, but this is where we've had grass before. I don't want, this is an area where I take my lawn tractor to, through, carrying things on. I don't want to mulch it because when that mulch is soaked up and it has the water in it, it just holds water like a sponge and trying to go over those areas with equipment you get stuck we've been there we've had a, a skid steer get stuck before in wet mulch and that's not fun trying to wrestle it out of there so there's areas where i want mulch like here in our food forest area but there's areas where i want grass i want i want there to be a solid ground to be able to travel on and uh, mulch is not a good option for that but here in the food forest area i do need to add some more mulch because that mulch is really great for holding the moisture in like i said and that's great for, for fruit trees, which we have some persimmon fruit trees here in this area that the chickens and ducks are in. Uh, but uh, that's one of the things we got to do today is add some mulch. So I'm going to get some exercise in again. Alrighty, we got our eggs from yesterday. Uh, as the days are getting longer, the chickens are beginning to lay more eggs, and of course we got more chickens now, so should be getting even more eggs. So uh, next, time to go ahead, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some of this mulch around, add more mulch to the mulch that is already in this area, and I'm also gonna redo their fence to kind of open it up more, so that way they can begin working on this area here, we had light mulch here. There's also some leaves, but it'll give them a larger area to, to work in and scratch around and do what chickens do.
I am needing a break from all the shoveling. The shoveling is definitely giving me a good workout. Getting some good shoulder burns, some anterior delts, some biceps, and some core. But uh, take a little break now. Uh, the original plan is to take the mulch so we get free from the city. So for those of you who are looking for a free resource for mulch, you may want to try contacting your, your local power company, your city works company. A lot of times you can get mulch for free. And that's what we do. And they come dump it on our property. And uh, the original plan was to, for this area was to take the mulch that is right here and use the skid steer to pour it and dump it into this area so that way I wouldn't have to do all this shoveling. Uh, but all the rain came, the ground's wet over there, and there's no way we're taking the skid steer to, uh, to tear up our grass. We definitely want to keep grass. It's not, it's not wrong to have grass sometimes. Uh, and I, don't, I didn't want to tear up our grass since the ground is so wet. Uh, so we're shoveling. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have waited or I would like to have done it earlier. It just didn't happen and it needs to get done now. really want them to have a nice area with some fresh mulch. Uh, and especially with the mulch that was there before, it's getting all muddy and soggy. So it's time to add new mulch and uh, hopefully the rain will, will hold off and it won't be crazy flooding again so I won't have to keep doing this. Uh, that would be great because uh, the mulch is great for, like I said earlier, for holding water. Uh, when you need your plants to have water during the drier months, but uh, too much water and things can just be a sloppy mess. Back to work. So for the past two years, we have been adding mulch and really trying to work on getting this area a better developed food forest area. And as you can see here, here's some mulch that we added. I believe this was last year. Uh, it begins to break up and loosen up. Uh, it has some vines that start to grow in there. But uh, this is an area where it's time to add some new mulch. If you ever go to the forest and you see you walk in there and you'll see pine needles and you see leaves that is nature's way of preserving itself and that is a way that moisture stays around those trees you'll notice even in the summertime if you go and you dig up around the pine needles you'll see that the ground is still a lot softer than it would be when it's exposed to just the open and dry air so there's a lot of benefits to mulch uh, and there's a lot of benefits to using mulch in areas where you have your animals. The chickens really love digging in it. We don't have a lot of pastured area. And you know what? Chickens are raised on pasture. That's excellent. But if you look at a chicken, if you watch a chicken, their natural instincts is to be in the woods, in the jungle, in the forest. And they really like that and gravitate. It's not till the end of the day, especially in the summertime when it's cooler, will they go out into the grass areas and get the grass. Uh, a lot of times during the day, they're walking around in the shaded areas around the, the border and perimeters of the forest where they can scratch and, and dig things up and, and get to those bugs. Alrighty, so the kids have joined me in there helping me clean this area up. One of the challenges of raising chickens in an area that is wooded and you have trees is you have to maneuver the fencing around the trees and then you can have branches and things that touch your electrified fence which can cause it not to have the shock that it needs. So the kids are cleaning up a lot of the sticks and just the fallen branches that have fallen before uh, just to clean this area up. And Sayla's gathering them up. She's doing a good job. So is Josiah. And Mike is helping out too. And I'm going to get to use our loppers here from Radius Garden. We got a number of tools from them and these are real quality tools that are for professionals. So one of the things that I've learned over my years of homesteading and gardening is uh, you really want to try to use and buy good tools. Tools that are going to last because you can buy the cheap ones and then you're going to end up having to replace them really soon. So it's worth it just to go ahead in most cases to get the tool, the right tools that you need and quality tools to begin with. So I'm gonna be working these in, working these babies out. <laughs> Whoa, you got some too? You gonna help out? Wow, look at those muscles under that jacket of yours.
It cut that thing like butter. Woo! Wow, this is very and ivy. Very itchy. If it touches me and if it still has oil. So that's why I am doing this. I'm almost there! And that's how she did it. So you got an egg? <laughs> you I got the egg. You got that egg? Good job. Give me a high five. Good job, baby. Look at all these chickens. And of course we have ducks over there. So you can see. Daddy cut that down for sale. Hey, Sailor, do you want to try using the loppers? Wow, yeah! There we go. Let's see them in action. This? Yep, try to cut them. Right there. Oh, not my finger. Whoa, that was close. Cut my finger off. Yeah. Just make sure you're careful when other people don't cut their try to cut their fingers off too now. <laughs> That's so easy you can use it, right? Yeah. Or you're just that strong. Alright, we are almost done. We still have a few more things to clean up. Some of the branches that we cut off, still need to pick those up and move them out. Uh, I'm going to have to come back another day and cull and thin and get rid of some of these trees with the chainsaw that are stunning the growth of some of our trees that we want to bear fruit in. So uh, we'll have to come back and do that another time. You don't want your area to be overpopulated with trees because it just blocks and stunts the growth of, of all the trees around them. Uh, and it's just neat to see the chickens right here expressing their chickenness. When I first started farming, I was so into chickens, and then I got ducks, and I became really, really into ducks and the duck man. And then now, as we're adding more chickens back, it's neat to see the chickens again. I still, I, I prefer both animals. I really love ducks and chickens, uh, so I wouldn't want to have to choose between the two. But uh, it's neat to see how each animal is equipped with characteristics that contribute to the natural world around them. Well, that's it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoyed seeing us get busy and get down to work. We got more, a little bit more work to do, but we'll have to catch you later because the rain's coming, and I want to get this job done. We'll see you next time, and grow on. Look at this cool egg I just found. Wow, it's really neat how it starts off this color and then it just fades over. Pretty cool.